Imagine reading the corpus of the entire internet and then synthesizing that data within your short-term memory to infer relationships and meaning within it. That's effectively the ability Microsoft has now unlocked with LongNet. Dilated attention is an evolution of Google's 2017 self-attention mechanism, and it changes everything. Again, LongNet can process up to 1 billion tokens of information in its context window, its short-term memory. This is orders of magnitude more than the large context models out there right now. This is incredible progress and a huge step toward AGI and super intelligence. And I really, really wanted to understand how the researchers were able to do this to get these mind boggling results. So I spent the last month learning way more matrix multiplication than I ever thought I would. And to my huge surprise, what I discovered changed my perspective on my entire life. LongNet has the ability to hyperfocus. It can focus on less of its input while at the same time understanding more of it. An analogy with our own cognition is helpful here, I think. To understand this sentence, your brain's attention mechanism is like a spotlight. There are a lot of ideas in this sentence. But to really understand the meaning of the sentence, you have to connect the ideas at the beginning and the end of the sentence. Only then can you realize that the idea that the sentence is trying to convey is that John lives in San Francisco. The other information is helpful context, but it's separating the two most important bits needed to understand the meaning. And before self-attention, that's how AI processed input too, sequentially. But nowadays, your typical large language model will process this information in parallel with a multi-head attention mechanism. To give a high-level overview, this effectively means it will calculate vectors that relate each word to every other word in the sentence. In this way, it can know that John and San Francisco are highly related in this sense. The problem with this is, it's, it's a lot of math. It has to do this for every word to every other word, which creates a matrix of numbers where more math has to happen. It's just a lot of math. GPUs can run this math in parallel, but you can see that as the input length rises, the complexity rises at a quadratic rate. And this has enormous consequences. It means to run advanced AI models, you need access to massive amounts of raw compute power. Given current hardware constraints and supply chain issues, this algorithmic complexity has the effect of keeping the power of intelligence accessible only to the most well-resourced organizations. As I dove deeper and deeper into the math, I couldn't help but notice all the parallels between the dilated attention algorithm and the way my brain works. I was diagnosed with ADHD pretty, pretty recently as an adult, and I've been learning a lot about how my brain works differently than neurotypical brains. The ability to hyperfocus is most often mentioned in the context of ADHD. For me, it usually manifests on accident as being totally and utterly absorbed in a task to the point where everything else is ignored or tuned out even the passage of time. This is really awesome for learning new things really quickly. It's, it's, it's not so awesome for all the things where my focus fades. Elements of my world that I don't find interesting will literally fade into the background to the point where I don't notice them at all. That is, until I need to notice them. Similarly, LongNet shims the transformer architecture with a dilated attention mechanism. Instead of doing all of that math to calculate vectors to every token in the sequence, as it gets further and further away from the one it's currently paying attention to, it skips tokens. One way to understand what it's doing is to think of it as speed reading, getting just a gist for where ideas are in the input sequence. 
as it starts to understand what the input sequence is about, it can then hyper-focus its attention on the important parts it needs to answer the prompt. This technique is not only more efficient, but more effective. It allows LongNet to pick up on nuanced relationships in the input data that would probably be missed by models with shorter context windows. Hyperfocused is sometimes referred to as a flow state, a state of mind or a level of consciousness once called the optimal state of experience in 2008. In 2019, this idea surfaced again, referring to it as the forgotten frontier of attention. This hyperfocus or flow state isn't exclusive to people with ADHD. Anybody can get there. It's just people with ADHD can get there really easily and often by accident. Some of the most unique minds of time have been able to call upon this ability to focus their mind. When you can reach this optimal state of experience so easily and on, on things you care about and are interested in, it makes everything else look boring. And long net, just like people with ADHD, suffers from trade-offs too. As it speed reads, learning just a little bit about the whole input sequence, it can potentially lose fine-grained details on the information. Just like when you zoom out on a camera to capture a broader scene, you might miss some minute details if you don't focus in on them. It can also lead to an AI to find meaning and connections in everything, effectively making it susceptible to noise, irrelevant information getting in the way of understanding. But this is where the analogy starts to break down. As the way these models are trained, they've read and seen so much information that given just a few bits of context in the input, it can predict with a surprising amount of accuracy what comes next. This makes LongNet extremely powerful. It has the ability to intelligently process in its short-term memory the amount of information a single human can read in a lifetime. And this is where my perspective on myself and my own capabilities has evolved greatly. I've grown up in a world where I've never really fit in, and it took me a long time to figure out why. And understanding exactly how LongNet does the amazing things it does has been the key to discovering my own inner power. If you read through the algorithms and the math, it's definitely dense, but the mechanisms involved are beautifully simple. It's something that anybody with a little patience in coding can implement for themselves. In fact, a lot of people have. Breakthroughs like this on a technical level, an individual level, even a societal level, this is what is driving the change in the world. If the third industrial revolution was about information and data, the fourth is about taking that data and automating and industrializing wisdom. And in that environment, that environment of ideas. As we stand here on the brink of unprecedented change, I think the most important question you should ask yourself right now is whose ideas are you serving? Are they helping you get to that flow state, that optimal state of consciousness? Because with the power of AI, ideas become either the tools that will set us free or the chains that entrench the status quo forever. Which way we go is being decided right now by all of us together, whether we're aware of it or not. The decisions we make today will have enormous impact on the future of humanity. That is an incredible amount of power. Power that is just waiting for you to remember that you are in control of your own life waiting for you to remember who you are. It's time to wake up. What will you do with your power?